a high-level delegation from the Commission on Administrative Justice Office of the Ombudsman has initiated a public inquiry into citizen access to vital legal identity documents, including national IDs, Kenyan passports, birth and death certificates in Wajia County. Led by the Vice Chairperson Mr. Washington Sati and Commissioner in Charge of Access to Information Mrs. Lucien Dungu, the delegation held a consultative meeting to address factors hindering access to these crucial documents which are enshrined in the Constitution. The Commission, in partnership with the Geneva Center for Security Sector Governance, DICAF, has collaborated to launch this initiative. Through the partnership, the Commission gathers complaints from various individuals and organizations, members of civil society, representatives from the fourth state, religious leaders, opinion leaders, and other stakeholders have highlighted challenges faced in accessing in legal identity document during a press briefing at Wajia Palace Hotel. The commission pledged to document all challenges encountered by Wajia community concerning access to these vital documents. So thank you and uh, greetings to everyone from Wajia and the neighboring county. My name is uh, Commissioner Washington Opio Sati, the vice chairperson of the Office of the Ombudsman, also known as the Commission on Administrative Justice. This week, the Commission, in partnership with the Geneva Center for Security Sector Governance, have uh, partnered to come up with this initiative where we are trying to gather complaints from people around the different issues and that especially the people of Wajia and the neighboring counties have experienced. And uh, this time we've decided to use uh, public inquiry as the approach. So this is one of the methods that the Constitution and the CAJ Act empowers us to do. Now because uh, we've received very many complaints uh, through our office, uh, through print media, through social media, uh, we decided that uh, we will want to build up uh, this activity. Why? Because those complaints have been there for years. And the idea is to ensure that the people of Wajia and uh, uh, around will find solution to these problems. And that's why we are here. We've had a wonderful, wonderful conversation with uh, the leaders. This is the opinion shapers around Wajia, uh, the religious leaders. Uh, the CSOs from Wajia, the youth groups from Wajia, persons with disabilities have had an opportunity to, to have an interaction with us today. We've had a discussion where they violated very many issues uh, around the vetting committee. Why? Because some of them felt that this is the barrier. Why? Because some of the questions that uh, come up from the committee are uh, in a way discriminative. Good afternoon. My name is Commissioner Lucy Dungo, designated Access to Information Commissioner in the Commission on Administrative Justice. As has been said, we are here in a platform of inquiry whereby we want to establish the hindrances which the Wananchi have complained related to the issuance of legal documents, birth certificate, death, uh, birth certificate, passports, and also identity cards issued to the people of Wajia. Like our commissioner has said, we have had a good discussion and tomorrow we will now hear from the members of the public at the Red Cross offices. Thank you very much. I'm Haishi Mohamed al uh, a prominent advocate of good governance and an activist based in Wajia County. We are privileged to have been visited by the Commission on Administrative Justice also known as the Ombudsman in Wajia today. And uh, as we all know, uh, maladministration is the province of the Ombudsman. And uh, you know, they deal with matters uh, maladministration, uh, delayed in the service delivery, uh, unfair practices, uh, mismanagement, and you know, discourtesy by public officials. And we experience all the above. Uh, discussions mainly dwelt on 
the grievances we have when it comes to the issuance of birth certificates, ID cards and passports. Our newly born kids have severe challenges when it comes to processing of birth certificates. Our mothers, when they are undergoing severe labor pains, cannot remember to get the ID cards of themselves and of their husbands. And therefore, uh, you, we all know how you know massive labor pains are. And once they forget to carry that because of the pains, then they cannot get the birth certificate. So they have to process uh, the process after the hospital. And that is a delayed process. A lot of corruption is involved. It is based on who you know, and therefore it's a challenge. Our kids, when we are traveling from Ajia to Nairobi by bus at Gariza Bridge, we are asked for the birth certificate of our kids. If we don't produce them, they cannot proceed with their journey. My name is Halima Kaya Adile. I'm the CEO of Geo Community Radio. Today uh, we have received visitors from Nairobi, that is the Office of Ombudsman, uh, Commission on Administrative Justice, and they came to collect the views of the public concerning information and access to justice in Wajia County. Especially that is the birth certificate insurance, how are we faring with birth certificates, ID in the uh, Wajia County, how are we getting national identity card and what are the challenges we are facing when we are looking for these vital documents. Especially also the passport, they inquired why we are not even having an office in Wajia and we are very thankful to the Commission for coming to Wajia in order to get the views of the public and also to assist us getting justice in terms of information sharing and also accessing a vital, a vital documents like birth certificate, ID and uh, passport.